I hear what both of you say about Patrick Mahomes. I give it up to Mahomes. He was very good. I thought Josh Allen outplayed Mahomes last night, especially given degree of difficulty because the Bills' defense was flat-out decimated. They were even losing players during the game. We had backups to backups to backups. We had guys off their couch playing defense for the Bills last night. And Don't get me started on Matt Milano gone early this year, Tredavious White gone early this year. It was a mismatch to me of Mahomes versus what was left of the Bills' defense, and they got little to no pressure on Mahomes. So he's nonchalantly back there picking them to pieces. And when I looked up late in the first half and he hit Kelsey for that 22, what was it, 22-yarder for a touchdown, how do you not cover Travis Kelsey? How how do you leave him gone wide open? Like, nobody's around him. Well, obviously, he's the number one option left for Patrick Mahomes. So how do you do that? So given the pressure on Josh Allen and and given the stats that I'm looking at, Josh Allen actually dominated this game with his arm and his legs, even though I give you, Richard, he was dinking and dunking. But I've never heard of such a statistical anomaly as what happened last night. The Bills ran 78 plays to only 47 for Patrick Mahomes. Time of possession was 37 minutes for the home team to only 23 minutes for Patrick Mahomes. Conversions on third and fourth down. Would you believe Buffalo went 9 of 17? That'll win a whole lot of football games. And yet Patrick was only asked to go five times on third down. He faced five thirds. And guess what? He converted one out of five, one out of five versus nine out of 17. So you step back from this and say, well, well, then what happened? Yeah, yeah. Big JTV. Like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, sub. Ah, Press the post notifications also, by the way. We got to talk about this. I don't like this guy at all. I don't like him much, but I respect him. And as you can tell, that guy is the individual on your screen right here, Patrick Mahomes. Really. And why do I say that? The, you know, Kansas City Chiefs went into Buffalo. You know what I mean? Walking they trap took over. They trap took over the Buffalo Bills entire trap, 27 to 24, in what is... I believe the most embarrassing playoff loss that the Buffalo Bills have had in the current Josh Allen era. Why do I say that? Because not only are the Bills on paper a better team, they performed way better the entire season. They've been more consistent all season. Josh Allen has been a better quarterback, (laughs) but funny enough, he's even been a better running back than anybody on the Chiefs. Let me tell you something, man. Josh Allen has 15 rushing touchdowns, okay? That would put him at probably in the top three of rushing touchdown getters in the entire NFL, including running backs. You know what I mean? Not just quarterbacks, but running backs as well. But it's funny how he never gets called a running back. What? Okay, but Lamar gets called a running back. Okay, never mind. I won't get too deep into that. (laughs) If you know, you know. But... Josh Allen, right, despite having better stats than Mahomes, got outplayed by Mahomes. Josh Allen had four total touchdowns in the game, two rushing, two passing. Outplayed by Mahomes, only had two touchdowns. Why? Because Mahomes is clutch. See, there's no way really to quantify what clutch is. But it is what it is. There's some players who have it and some players who don't. Like, let me tell you this. In my mind, you know, LeBron James, not even just my mind, just even looking at the screen, LeBron James is a better player than Michael Jordan. If you're looking at straight up talent, straight up skill, everything, he's better than Michael Jordan. But why is Jordan considered by most people better than LeBron? Very simple. Michael Jordan was clutch. Two minutes left in the game. He's going to take a game-winning shot. He's going to make it. He's going to have a steal. He's going to have a play or two or three or maybe even four plays that are going to win the game. Aaron Rodgers is a better quarterback than Tom Brady. 
If you sit in the pocket and you throw a football to receivers, Aaron Rodgers is better than him. But guess what? Tom Brady is the type of guy who makes plays in the fourth quarter, who puts Adam Vinatieri in a position to kick a game-winning field goal. Adam Vinatieri is clutch, right? See, when it comes to a dynasty, when it comes to football, especially playoff football, which in my eyes is a different type of football, it's not even really, it's barely the same game as regular season football. It's about making plays, bruh, making plays, one or two plays that lead you to winning. And what are the plays that Patrick Mahomes made last night? Not just him, but him and his receivers. Third downs, you know, catches by uh, MVS, Malcolm Valdez standing, catches by Rashid Rice, catches by Travis Kelsey, a ton of game clinching plays, amazing first down runs by Isaiah Pacheco. This Chiefs offense has been garbage all season until last night. And you could even extend it. Their best games by the Chiefs offense have been in the past two weeks. <laughs> you can argue that. You can argue that. They've been dropping balls all season. They've been playing trash. But last night and a week ago versus the Dolphins, those were two of their top three or four offensive games that they've ever that they've played all season. And what is that? It's clutchness. Having clutchness and being able to make the right plays at the right time. It's about mentality, having the mental strength to, you know, overachieve in times you can. Other clutch players. You know what I mean? Uh 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 Ben Roethlisberger, clutch, made plays when he had to make plays. That's why he has two rings. You know what I mean? Eli Manning, clutch, made plays when he had to make plays. Of course, his brother was a better quarterback, but he made plays when he had to make plays. And that's why Eli Manning has two rings on his finger. And he was instrumental to those two rings. It's not like Peyton Manning's second ring where he was dragged to the finish line by that defense. Right. And this is the problem with a guy like Josh Allen. Josh Allen doesn't have that clutch gene. Josh Allen doesn't make the plays necessary to win games. And that's why he always loses to Mahomes. But get in the comments, man. Why do you think that uh, the Chiefs won last night? Do y'all think that they were the better team? I say no, they were not the better team. It is what it is. And uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. Big JTV, like, comment, solve them out.